jackets Melanie or she should scrapper so today I am here with part two of my September um, layout share and a lot of these do have process videos up on my channel so make sure you check those out and I'll let you know which ones have the process videos but there are a couple that I did without um, videotaping so we will just jump in and get started so this one here there is not a process video up on my channel super simple layout um, I had this cut file and so I just backed it with all kinds of fun different um, papers and then I had these two pictures of the aquarium still um, from our Gatlinburg trip and so I just combined those back those with a lighter teal color and had this smile um, phrase I guess you could say that matched pretty well so I added that added some stars to the top there and that is that super simple um, but I really like it and then this is a two-page layout so usually I would have this layout you know a one picture layout as the first page of the two page layout however this is the face of a little boy who did not want to leave the aquarium um, and so i wanted to kind of remember that and i mean that picture just kind of rounds out the aquarium and so um i made the title until next time i use the chamel never grow up um, project pad that's where I got the letters from and the fish um, and then since I had circles on this page I just used my um, punches added some circles um, super simple sprayed the background a little bit just to give it a little something extra and um, finish that off and then this one here this one does have a process video up on my channel so I had asked viewers if there was a certain um, collection they would like me to scrapbook with and I had one viewer ask me to scrapbook with the Saturday afternoon collection by one canoe two and so that is what this collection is um, used Vicki Booten's gold creative FX glaze um, and one of her stencils for the background fussy cut all these flowers added some stickers again super simple didn't take too long um, and then just added a big title um, so really liked how that one turned out this one as well was a process video this is a two-page layout so I'll bring that like this um, this is the simple stories fall farmhouse collection and I just got that from Tuesday morning so hopefully it's still there if you like what you see um, I did just use the 6x8 paper pad on this um, the background the wood background is just uh, some paper from Hobby Lobby that I kind of have stashed away and so that did not come from the collection kit I think there is one wood grain background in the kit um, but that was not one of these and then I just made triangles uh, and fussy cut here and just added some different embellishments and really like this fall layout I like how that turned out another fall one here is another two page layout this is using the Jen Hadfield simple life collection I believe um, and I knew I wanted a title heavy page and so I put together that um, together is my favorite place to be and this is just a big family gathering so I you know carried over the same papers on both sides and used a punch to scallop that I'm just really happy with how this one turned out as well I just love the deep orange deep red um, love the colors for fall and then this one here is also a process video um, so check that out I used a cut file actually as a stencil to cut all of those papers out so just another way to use a cut file um, and just really like how I didn't even really mean for it to happen this way but how the um, background paper here is kind of ombre and so is the picture kind of goes from you know the yellow to the pinks um, so like how that kind of matches this is the simple stories blue skies 
Sunshine and Blue Skies. Sorry. Um, that is this collection here. So just super fun. Um, it is in my fall. I don't know. I go chronological and this trip was in November. So it may seem summery to you, but it was a trip to Florida in November. So that is why we're kind of everything else is fall. And then all of a sudden you have some bright fun things. Um, and this one here was super fun. This I just did. Um, I knew that this was going to take me a while to back the cut file, so I did not videotape it. Uh, made my flower with my Big Shot and used, it's a Paige Evans cut file, and then I used her Horizon collection to back all of it. Um, the flowers are from the Horizon collection, and I think just the these little flowers, this bird, and the camera, I believe, are from some of her other collections. But primarily is all the Horizon collection. And then I also did this page. Super simple. Um, just kind of goes together. And I just had three of the different sand sculptures. And so I wanted just to kind of showcase those because they were amazing. So much detail in the sand. Um, and so I just, you know, put them all across the page, backed it a little bit with some pink, and then made three different clusters. Again, made this flower using my big, sh big shot, big kick. Sorry, it's new to me. So uh, my die cut machine, how's that? And yeah, just really like how I was able to use a lot of the embellishments from the Horizon collection. Again, I think just this puffy heart and this puffy bow are from one of her other collections but everything on these two pages um is from Paige Evans so that is what I have done in the second part of September I'm excited to kick off October and see what I can get done this month um so thank you for tuning in I would love if you would subscribe like or comment on my videos that always helps and we will see you next time thanks guys Thank you.